Hello friends, you are welcome. This is Soft Reason. In this lesson, we will be looking at circular foundation footing. How to create a circular foundation footing family. Just like this. Okay. So straight away, let's go into the lesson. So here, here we are on this uh, interface. We want to be considering families. And then we will select new family. In the dialog, we can navigate to English and then we double click on that. Then we we'll scroll down to foundation, uh, structural foundation family. This one, metric structural foundation. Click on that and then click on open. All right, so here we go. We want to proceed by checking the property. So we'll go to the property dialog. You click on that. In the family type property dialog, you will notice that uh, you have some uh, already existing material as well as the uh, parameters. Now these parameters are inbuilt. If we try to delete they cannot be deleted okay and so we proceed you can make use of them during your family creation or you can also create your own which i will be showing you in a minute so you click on okay for me to start creating my circular footing i want to start by creating a reference plane so i click on reference plane and then I will just select, I will have two reference plane in the vertical axis, left and right. The distance is not necessarily my consign for now. Okay, just like that. Alright, so after which I will want to be giving this reference plane dimension. So I click on align and I will have that dimension. Uh, sorry, undo that, go again, dimension, pick that point, pick this point, and this other point, all right, click on this equal sign to have it equal, then dimension the two reference plane, do the same thing here, just like that, and dimension the two reference plane. So you can see the vertical and the horizontal dimensions differs, okay? But that is not my concern, that will be corrected in the process, okay? So after which I will click on uh, modify to deselect the command. I want to be labeling this dimension. How do I do that? Select the dimension. In the label panel, you select this, create parameters. In the dialog, you give it a name as diameter just like that after which click on okay so you have this name just like this okay then you do the same thing you have select this dimension since you have the name existing just click in this provision then in the drop down menu select diameter to have that once that is done successfully we proceed to modeling the circular footing so i go straight the way to create and then i click on the instruction I will select cycle in the draw panel, pick the center point and take it to this point and place that. After which I will select the command. Before I click on finished, I want to be showing you what to do in a minute. I will go to align. Okay, so in the dimension panel, I'll select diameter and select this uh the cycle I created so as to have this diameter. After having this diameter, I will deselect the command by clicking on the modify, select the dimension and i'll also give it a name as diameter okay just like that after which the next thing i will have to do i will select this command then i will be editing the extrusion end i want it to be minus 450. why is it not minus is because i want it to be below this reference plane that is why i use minus after which i'll click on Finish edit mode. And so, 
After having finished the mode, I will navigate to the front view so as to work on this thickness. So I will click on dimension again to be able to dimension this thickness from that reference line to this point. You can see I have it as there 450. I will deselect this command, select the dimension again to label it. So I click in this provision, then in the drop down menu, I will name it as foundation thickness by clicking on that. You can see after that is done successfully, I want to be locking this foundation to this reference plane. So how do I do that? I will go straight away to clicking on align in the modify panel and then I will select the reference plane. Then go straight away to select the top constraint of the foundation. Then I will lock it up just like that. After which I will navigate to the reference level to have this. We want to be flexing it, checking the effectiveness of what we have done. And for us to do that, I will deselect this command by clicking on the modify. Go straight away to the property family type. Click on that in the provision. Just as we have uh, this to be 1.4, I want to click on OK, zoom this or adjust this so you can see the both uh, dimension. This is 1.4 and this, this side also is 1.4. I go back to the family type in the property dialog. I want to change this dimension, this diameter to 1600. Let's see how it's going to be effective here. Yeah, click on apply. So you can see it's been changed. Okay. So that is done successfully. If I change it again to 1200, I click on apply. You can see it's flexible to work with. Now I click on OK. I go to the front so as to check the thickness as well. Go straight away to the family type. In the dialog, I want to change the thickness to be uh, 300. But first click on apply. So you can see the adjustment is effective. If I change it to 350, click on apply. The adjustment is also effective. So I click on OK. It works very well. Great. I go straight away back to reference level. And then I go to the family type again. In the dialog, I want to be creating multiple of uh, diameter as well as thickness. In case of eventuality, I can select any of it and then be able to use. How do I do that? Having this first one to be 1.2 and thickness 350 mm, I will come to this new type, click on that, give it a name as 1200x350 mm. Alright, click on OK and then I will apply that. So this has been saved in the system. Okay, I want to proceed. Click on the new tab again. This time around, I want to be having 1400 x and then i will be having the thickness to be 300 mm click on okay come to this provision and make that changes 1400 and then have that to be 300 click on apply so that is it one more time i want to be creating another dimension for the footing this time around is going to be 1500x then i'll be having the thickness of the footing to be 400 mm just like that click on ok come to this provision of diameter to make that changes all right and for the foundation footing you also make the changes just like that click on apply all right so i'm having up to three different diameter as well as thickness of uh, this footing so you can select any one at any time and you apply to see the effect you can see. All right, check this one, apply, you see the effect, click on OK. So having done this successfully, I want to be saving this. For me to do that, I will go straight away to the file and then I'll come to save as family, click on that. And I will likely want to save this to the desktop, so I click on desktop. Then. I will give it a name as a uh, as a circular footing, just like that. 
all right so i click on the save button to save that so after saving this i want to be removing this front view just like that and then i'll go straight away to create a new project then i click on the new then select project so in this provision i'll select metric a structural template i can be able i can also be able to browse then i can decide to use default metrics okay but i'll be considering uh, the one i just selected which is the uh structural analysis metrics click on open then i okay it all right i have this project now so i want to go straight away to level one because i want to be placing the circular footing on level one i'll go back to the reference level which is the family okay and i will be loading this into the project so I click on load into project so you can see it here it's been loaded successfully so i can just start placing it uh i want it to be in line i just start placing it just like that okay so after placing it successfully i can go straight away to the structural tab enable the column then in the property i check in the drop down menu if there is a circular column there is none a come to family and then click on the load family to load this one which is the round concrete columns i click on open after that is loaded successfully i can't rest it just like that all right see this one are not that centralized but that is not an issue we are just trying to use this as an example to demonstrate what we have done and to test our circular foundation footing uh, family so i can just check it in the 3d to see how it works so this is the circular footing i click on that shared mode you can see the way it looks all right so you can select this one at any time decide to change the diameter as well as the thickness you can see the changes there all right you can also select it come to the edit profile and you can be able to edit it to your choice all right so this is how to create circular foundation footings in revit structure i believe this lesson must have helped you in one way give this lesson a thumbs up and as well as subscribe if you have not subscribed bye for now